Um, water. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got two issues with Coakley, and that's that's next up on the agenda. And I specifically um, am interested in um, the quality, uh, not the quality, the quantity, as it relates to our two wells that are shut down. I know that wasn't discussed when the governor was in town. I was up uh, doing our people's work for it, and I fully informed the board and the governor's office about it. Um, give us give us the quick and dirty on that, the threat, um, our our ability to supply. And then we'll talk about Coakley and some of these other issues. Please, sir. Sure. So there's, as you know, there's been much discussion on this, and we've engaged with Aquarian uh, on a number of uh, fronts. Uh, we'll go back to a, a report I'll talk about that they gave to us in July of 2017 that talked about that issue of supply and demand. If you recall, that really came from discussions about uh, their advocacy to put on a new well. Um, and in they, they did an analysis or had an analysis completed with projected peak demands Generally, the peak demand day is in July. And what did our water, uh, or what was that supply? Essentially, their report came back and indicated that the, the margin of safety, that is the range of what their wells can produce against that maximum uh, daily amount that we, we would need to do, had a slim 2% safety margin, meaning there was risk that they might not be able to produce enough water for the peak demands. Now, what's important to note on that, that the industry standard is, is they've reported a 15% safety margin. Again, we were operating many times at a 2%. In looking at that data, they made assumptions about growth. They made assumptions about our demand, um, and that's what guided their decision. Since that report, we've had two wells taken offline, well 6 and well 14. Well 6 is a high-producing well. Um, it produces a substantial, not the highest, but it's probably one of the I think top two or three wells that produce for them. So clearly by taking that well offline and anecdotally through conversations I've had with folks uh, representing Aquarian, um, there's going to be a need for well six to go back online to meet the demands that we will have. That answer what you're looking for? Yeah, it, it does. And it, it highlights, Mr. Chairman, um, sometimes uh, the, the priorities uh, of sudden onset of leadership in municipal platforms and it could be a snowstorm one day uh, but today the threat uh, of not meeting quantity demands is a serious serious issue in this town and that is exacerbated by the Coakley landfill threat that cannot be disproved that has potential carcinogens and has resulted in well shut down that would place us with zero threshold to meet demand in the middle of the summer. Has the governor ever talked to you or Mr. Welch about that? He hasn't spoken to me. I can't speak to Mr. Welch, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I think uh, I will leave that to you and Mr. Welch uh, and perhaps the board uh, to make a phone call to the governor uh, about that. And. Uh, uh, this summer is yesterday in terms of strategic and tactical execution of municipal platforms. And uh, we're literally, uh, who knows what the weather, uh, just months away um, from being mobbed and not being able to meet demand. And I think the governor of the state of New Hampshire should be alerted to this. And I think this board has a responsibility to its citizens. I know this board has a responsibility to its citizens to advise the governor that um, – based on your comments right now, that we are far off traditional standards of a 15% safety margin, that with this well shut down, um, we have no safety margin, and that we are producing uh, millions of gallons of effluent every single day in the middle of summer with a full beach, and we may not be able to do it. And uh, we would like some command attention uh, from the state to be involved with that. And uh, while, while this issue of... Uh, uh, revenue and cost at the beach is, is significant and it's already been voted on by this board. This is something that uh, the state has expressed no interest in. None. Zero. Nada. And we'll get to Coakley and we'll get to the, 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 the quality issue in a minute. Um, and then these wells that are coming back on uh, produce how many millions of gallons of water now that we're not using, we're not tapping Six into? Six and 14? Uh, the numbers, to my recollection, are well six produces somewhere in the order of 300 million 
Okay, I'm not going to hold it to you. Yeah, yeah. One's like yep. 300 on the ratings they do, whether it's MGD, it's not MGD, it's there per hour. One's 300, one's 100. The 100 is on the very low end of their scale, the 300's on the upper end of their scale of production. And again, as I've said, I've been approached in. There's the belief of the meet our peak demands. Well, six, which is one currently closed down for concerns of the PSC involvements, uh, will need to be put back online in order to meet demand. Gotcha. And, I, and I would just say this, Mr. Chairman, and defer to um, um, Selectman Barnes in a second, is I, I would appreciate her quarterbacking with you, Mr. Chairman, and, and uh, uh, our chief executives and assistant chief executive uh, integration and strategic and tactical planning with the governor. Uh, about this issue because it is uh, clearly um, a crisis issue and uh, we can't let uh, events dictate uh, our operations here and it's it's been neglected by the state and uh, it's a huge issue and I know we're going to come back to Coakley but I'll defer to the water. Well I just so have a concern about well six which was turned off because of the PFC contamination now we need that well in the summertime right? So what's... To meet demand I believe that's what they indicate yes. Right so <laughs> what are we going to do here? We're going to turn it back on and I, well, uh, I will have to hear from them, but my, right. well, my see, this is, is yes. Sorry to interrupt you. I didn't mean to do that. But this is the point. Like, this stuff just gets ignored. The reason why it gets ignored is because when you ignore something, you don't have to deal with it. Well, guess what? Now it's all blowing up. So what are we going to do? Are we going to clean the well? Is Coakley going to clean the well for us? Because they should if they're polluting it so that we can serve our customers and our residents in the summertime. What's going to happen? Who's going to help us decide? It's not something that can be done by one single town. So, good. Turn well back. Turn what well six back on. I hope you fix the problem with the PFCs that they have in there before you do that. I would just like to say one thing and point out it's an interesting fact, and I don't know if Regina knows about it, but it is being the water uh, guru. Have you heard about what's happening in Cape Town? Africa, South Africa, so, they're running out of water by August eight by April twentieth. There will be no more water. They're right now um, only give each person twenty five gallons, and that's to do everything: drink, wash clothes, take showers. And they're actually running out of water. They they should have started building these desalination uh, plants right. earlier, but they're going to just be out of water. That's why All it has to be done federally. The biggest problem is because of the tourism that they're going to lose because that's where everyone makes all their money there.